My name is Josh Whiteside. I'm the Executive Director of the Education Partnership in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We provide school supplies and other classroom resources for students and their teachers in under-resourced schools throughout Southwestern Pennsylvania. When you look at all of the schools, teachers, and students in our program, the one thing that they have in common is that at least 70% of the students are on the National School Lunch Program. But what you also need to look at is the school funding system in Pennsylvania. The schools, depending on their zip code, that's gonna determine the level of funding that they have to provide resources for the teachers in their school. What we know is that the most successful students are gonna come from the classrooms, with supported and motivated teachers. We try and provide resources so that teachers can be the most excellent form of themselves. And we know that by providing frontline worker solutions to teachers, we're gonna see the best outcomes for students. The model at the Education Partnership has been effective for more than 14 years, and now we're providing more than $10 million annually at no cost to teachers in schools throughout Southwestern Pennsylvania. We can take a $1 donation and turn it into $10 worth of support, utilizing both purchasing power and donated goods in the community to provide an extreme ROI for the entire region. We need to recognize that a third of students are showing up to school without the resources necessary to be successful in the classroom. So the single best way to break the cycle of generational poverty is in the classroom. And there's no more efficient or effective way to improve classroom outcomes for both students and teachers than the education partnership. My name is Nicole Elizabeth Goins. I am a special educator at Propose Montour High School. I'm not really sure how far back the partnership with the education partnership goes, but um, when I started with Pro Propel Montour Elementary School, when it was a K-8 building down the street, that was the 16-17 school year, so just about seven, eight years, um, they were already a part of it. I was a building substitute, and um, when the invitation came for the teachers to go shopping, I was allowed to join, and I've gone each year since. I think it's a excellent resource. Um, not only do they offer basic supplies for a classroom, there's always something interesting and helpful in some creative way. I have seen novels, I have seen um, furniture, I have seen desktop furniture that you'll see here at, on my desk. I have seen monitors, printers, clothes, so many different surprises that have been collected and offered to teachers to help in some way. I was even, school year before last, they were um, working on the STEM initiative and gave out sewing machines. And I'm, I'm, the sewing machine is currently at home and I'm teaching myself how to use it. It's been a long time since I sewed. So I'm looking for opportunities to do something with that in the classroom.